Just before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know we are doing an iPhone X giveaway at the end of the month. If you'd like to enter, just subscribe to my channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, then watch this video fully through, then go to the description down below and click the iPhone X giveaway link. Follow the simple rules and you'll be entered to win. Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome to District Trending. My name is Lycan and today I'm going to be bringing you some shocking ages of some of your favorite hip hop artists. Before we jump into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be hiding two free Amazon gift cards throughout the video for you guys to win. So make sure to watch this video through its entirety, that way you have the best chance of finding them. Also, if you would like to check out my channel after the video, make sure to check the description below. Actually, you know what? I was just sitting here thinking about it. Since this is going to be one of my first times being on this channel, I'm going to go ahead and post a third code right now. So congratulations to whoever put that in the fastest. I wish you guys the best of luck finding the other two. We're going to hide it extremely well, so make sure to watch the video very carefully. So I'm sure most of you guys know that rap has to be the youngest genre of music. It seems like just over the last couple of years, so many rappers under the age of 25 have rose to fame and made millions of dollars. Now, a lot of these rappers actually dress in costumes and have piercings and tattoos, so a lot of you guys may have actually missed how old they actually are. That is why today, when I reveal the shocking ages of five rappers, I believe that you are going to be truly shocked. So anyways, let's start out with number five. We have the rapper Nav. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Nav. He actually has come out with two mixtapes in this last year of 2017. It's kind of weird thinking about how it's already 2018. Man, that's crazy. But anyways, just in case you haven't heard of him, Navraj Singh Garai, I'm pretty sure is how you say his name, is a Canadian hip-hop recording artist and record producer from Rexdale, Ontario in Canada. He is signed to EXO and Republic Records. EXO is actually owned by The Weeknd, I'm sure you've heard of him. So Nav has actually been in the game for quite a long time, but in 2015, he dropped his song, Take Me Simple, on SoundCloud, and it was listened to over 10 million times, quickly pushing him into fame. Following the success of that song, he has actually came out with three mixtapes. The first one was The Introduction, released on September 4th of 2016, and the other two were released in 2017, with one being Nav, the self-titled, and Perfect Timing with Metro Boomin. So as I mentioned previously, he has actually released all of his songs on SoundCloud, where they garner millions and millions of plays. This has actually led to rappers such as Drake finding his tracks and jamming out to them. With an artist such as Drake listening to your song, this has actually opened up a ton of doors for Nav. He has been featured on tracks such as Back to Back with Drake, Beebs in the Trap with Travis Scott, and Kodak Black's Save You, just to name a few. And yeah, I did mean that to rhyme. So with all that being said, I would like you guys to guess his age right now. If you said 28 years old, you are correct. That means he was only about 25 years old when he first started really gaining fame. So if you think this is actually a little bit older, just think about it. I mentioned earlier that he's been producing beats for a long time, so it's really hard to tell how old he was when he first started making bank off the industry. I would say he was probably pretty young. But anyways, with that being said, now that we've talked about Nav a little bit, I want to give you guys a little bit of a spoiler alert. All of these rappers from here on out are actually going to be younger than 25. Nav was the oldest on our list. So coming in at number four, we have Lil Uzi Vert. So I'm like 99% sure most of you guys have heard of him. He's probably one of the top growing rappers within the last couple years. So Samir Woods, or Lil Uzi Vert, really got his breakthrough in 2014 when he signed with the record label Generation Now and Atlantic Records. He had actually already released two mixtapes by then, but his third mixtape, Love Is Rage, released on December 18th, 2015, is really what projected him straight into fame. With his third mixtape only, he was already featuring guests such as Wiz Khalifa and Young Thug. What an accomplishment. So if you think that's crazy, 2016 was even a bigger year for Lil Uzi Vert. He released two mixtapes, one called Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World and the second being called The Perfect Love Tape. With all of the success, XXL put him in the freshman class of 2016 with rappers such as Kodak Black and 21 Savage. And basically from there, the sky just seems like the limit for Lil Uzi Vert. In 2017, he actually released his first studio album, Love Is Rage 2, the sequel to his first mixtape, Love Is Rage. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. How crazy is that, considering he is only 23 years old? That's right, being born on July 31st of 1994, he is only 23 years old. This means back in 2014, when he first got signed, he was only around 21 years old. That is insane. So moving on to number three, we have Travis Scott. So Travis Scott has been around since about 2008, so I'm, I'm like 98% sure most of you guys have heard of him as well. He's actually a rapper from Houston, Texas, and has signed multiple record deals throughout his career. 
In 2012, he got his first big break with Epic Records. In November of the same year, he signed a deal with Kanye West's Good Music to be a part of its production wing, Very Good Beats. In 2013, he then signed a deal with TI's Grand Hustle imprint. So he's been making a lot of connections over the last few years. So just to give you an idea of kind of how long he's been around as compared to some of these other rappers we've been talking about, Nav, like I said, got his start kind of on SoundCloud. Well, Travis Scott actually got his start working on MySpace. I'm not even sure if you guys remember that. It's been a long time ago and a lot of you viewers are younger. MySpace was actually pretty much just like before Facebook. Facebook kind of took over and blew MySpace out, but that's really what got like social media started. And it actually like revolutionized the way that artists and bands or anybody making music could just push out their content to tens of thousands of people listening worldwide. It's pretty cool. So a lot of people don't know this, but Travis Scott actually kind of had like a little rough patch in the beginning of his career. In 2008, he actually had a duo with his longtime friend Chris Holloway called The Graduates. It didn't work out, and then he actually made a group called The Classmates, which didn't work out either. It was ended due to personal conflicts and financial disputes. After leaving college, he then went to New York. New York actually didn't work out either, so he decided to go to Los Angeles, California. Four months later, he actually met T.I. So T.I. had actually already heard one of Travis's songs called Lights and decided to call him up immediately to attend a meeting. Travis Scott, of course, was like, hell yeah, I'll come to that meeting and decided to actually sign a record deal with T.I. They hit it off amazingly. So after that, he actually dropped two mixtapes, one being called Al Pharaoh and the second one Days Before Rodeo. That was in 2013 and 2014. In 2015, he released his first studio album called Rodeo, followed in 2016 by his album Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight. He then is releasing Astroworld later in 2018. So since he signed that deal with T.I., he's just continuously been growing. He actually won a BET Hip Hop Award in 2016, and then again, he won a Teen Choice Award in 2017. So with all of that success noted, let me shock you a little bit. Travis Scott is only 25 years old. Yeah, that's right. He was actually born on April 30th of 1992. That means he got his start in 2008 at the age of 16 and pretty much signed his record that just pushed him into fame with T.I. by the age of 22. So coming in at number two, we actually have a brand new rapper, Lil Skies. So I'm not going to lie. He's actually so new that there's really not too much stuff out there about him. But what we do know is that he actually opened for Fetty Wap at Shippensburg University in October of 2016. This is kind of what helped push him into fame. Now, it's actually kind of funny because Lil Skies actually went to Shippensburg University but dropped out to focus on his music career. It is noted that he actually began recording at the age of four, and by age 12, he was already writing his own lyrics. He's heavily influenced by Travis Scott, Lil Uzi Vert, 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, and his father, Dark Skies, who is also a musician. So just like Nav, he actually began to upload his music to SoundCloud in early 2015. His debut mixtape, Good Grades, Bad Habits, was released in September of 2015, but the second installment of the tape was released in February of 2016. It features tracks like Some Kind of Love and Always Lit. In January of 2017, that's when he dropped his 10-track mixtape, Alone. It featured production from All Steezy, Cash Money AP, and a few other people. So with Lil Skies already making a name for himself, he really took off when he released a song called Red Roses featuring Landon Cube in July of 2017. Just a few months later in October, he released the official music video for Red Roses, and it's already been viewed more than 16 million times on YouTube. It's also noted that he is signed with Atlantic Records, but he actually owns his own record label called All We Got Entertainment and has received a co-sign from the likes of Lil Uzi Vert. How crazy is that? So like I said, Lil Skies has to be one of the most up and coming rappers out there right now. And the crazy thing is, is guess what? He is only 19 years old. He was born on August 4th of 1998, making him officially younger than I am. I just turned 22 years old and it just blows my mind to see all these up and coming rappers that are three years younger than me just really making their mark on the world. It's awesome. But anyways, last but definitely not least, because he is number one on this list, we have Lil Pump. So for some strange reason, you just do not know who he is. He is another rapper who has actually got a start from sharing music on SoundCloud. He is from the Miami area and pretty much started in 2016. He basically began by releasing singles such as D-Rose and Boss, which were two major hits on SoundCloud, collecting a combined 70 million streams. It's noted that on June 9th of 2017, he signed a record deal with The Lights Global and Warner Brothers Records. And then finally on October 6th of 2017, he released his debut commercial mixtape, Lil Pump. He featured all kinds of top rappers such as Rick Ross, 2 Chainz, and Gucci Mane. So with a little bit of an Easter egg, we're actually going to tell you his age. 
So it is noted that when he signed that record deal with Warner Brothers Records and The Lights Global, it was two months before his 17th birthday. That's right, Lil Pump is only 17 years old, making him the youngest rapper on today's list. So anyways, guys, that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. This has been Lycan with District Trending. If you'd like to check out my channel, definitely check the links below and make sure you look for those Amazon gift cards as well as enter the giveaway for the iPhone. Peace, guys.